There you go. <laughs> Not talking, y'all. Five questions. <sighs> I will keep my word. I would definitely do five free questions. Um, it's not going to be tonight because I got to do all signs tonight. So I probably could do it tomorrow. We can do like elements or something and I'll do it tomorrow um, in the afternoon. <clears throat> <coughs> all right. Somebody write. Um, oh, my God, y'all. Somebody write, um, who I want to start with today? Um, oh, wait, I was supposed to do water signs yesterday, but I never finished. So I do got to, I have to start with water signs. Um, my throat itch so bad. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> so somebody write cancer. Hey, Patricia. Everybody that I did a reading for today was like some of the sweetest people I've ever talked to. Like everybody was so nice. And like, I don't know. I think I enjoyed all my readings today. All of them. <clears throat> All right, let's go. need to know what do cancers need to know give me three more cards what do cancers need to know oh god oh why did i join when you were on the worst side oh my god we don't sign shame over here um give me three more cards what do cancers need to know and who are you messing with that was a cancer <sighs> God damn it. Hold on, y'all. The car's just flying out. Hold up. Spare, give me three more cards for cancers. Three more cards for cancers. Two more cards for cancer spirits. Two more cards. One more card for cancers. One more card for cancers. Okay. tired of being toxic or your person is tired of being toxic some of y'all are like tired of feeling bound to something whether that is a person whether that is the streets whether that is an addiction it's like you want to let go of that hold um or like i said this could be your person somebody is going to send you a message um this is somebody that is passionate about you. You may be passionate about them. Um, if you're waiting on some sort of good news, it's coming in. Seven of Pentacles. Some of y'all are stressed out about what y'all need to be investing your time and your money into, your feelings into. Um, some of y'all may not be sleeping at night. You're experiencing anxiety. If that's not you, then it could be your person. So it's about the double in reverse. Why is it hangman? Wait a minute. Why is this hangman here? Some of y'all are, okay. There's somebody that you're currently not talking to right now. So I'm assuming you and somebody must have broke up or I don't know. Maybe y'all had an argument, a fallout out or something. I don't know. But it's like currently y'all may not be speaking to this person. Um, and with the hangman in reverse, it's like you're stuck. You just don't know what to do. A part of you is like, let me just walk away. But then another part of you just don't want to let this go. Spirit, tell me about the page of wands. Why is the page of wands here? Eight of cups in reverse. 
I don't feel like the story is over between you and this person. Um, they're coming back. It's, it's, I'm, look, I'm just saying, I'm just the messenger. I don't feel like it's over. <clears throat> Spirit, tell me about the seven of pentacles. Page of swords. This person keeps tabs on you. Um, they know every fucking thing you got going on. <laughs> but they want to talk to you, but it's, I feel like you and this person have been arguing lately. Tell me about the nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords here? Ooh, ooh, Emperor in the Chariot. I like this. Somebody is coming forward. This could be somebody older than you. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, but whatever obstacles y'all are going through, I feel like y'all are going to be able to overcome it. And Cancer, this is your energy. So you may be the one to extend the olive branch. You may be the one to try to make things right. Um, some of you could be dealing... Oh, I think I just said that. <laughs> dealing with somebody older than you. Let me see who this Emperor is. Spirit, tell me about this emperor. Who is this emperor? Knight of Wands. Some of y'all are dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Capricorn. Mostly all the signs is here. But the ones that stand out to me is Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aries, another Cancer. Um, did I say Aries? I think I did. Spirit, tell me about this Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Four swords in reverse. Yeah, it's like the lines of communication is about to open up between the two of you. It's like y'all need to figure out how to heal this situation between the two of you. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for cancers? Oh, y'all ain't even take Braylon. Ace of Wands, new beginnings. Some of y'all got new love coming in or some of y'all are really just going to try to make it work with your person. Y'all gonna reignite the flame once again, fire energy. Tell me about this Ace of Wands, Spirit. Five of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're in conflict with this person. So it's like y'all got to figure out how to get that passion back. I feel like the love is there because you got the Eight of Cups in reverse. Um, but it's like, I don't know. It's something, I don't know. It's like y'all argue a lot. But also, I feel like you're ready to have options. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Why is the pop? Ace of Cups. Yeah, you, have a, you got two aces here. You have new beginnings in love. You have a love offer coming in. I feel like for some... Okay, for some of you, you got a new lover coming in, and you may also have somebody that you're going to renew a relationship with. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Clarify the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here, Spirit? Magician. This person is manifesting you. They're interested in you. They're focused on you. Um, they want to be with you. So, yeah, Cancer, that's what I have for y'all today. All right, um, moving along to Scorpio. Somebody write Scorpio, please. <clears throat> Shuffle right. Hey, pretty woman, I miss your face. I've been creating goals and trying to minimize my phone time, but I miss me some. Yeah, I'm still a subscriber. I have so many videos to catch up on. Hey, girl, I, where have you been? But I'm glad you're catching up on your goals. That's most important. I'm glad you accomplishing goals, checking things off your list. All right, <clears throat> let's get started, Scorpio. Spirit, what do Scorpio need to know? What messages do you have for Scorpio? What messages do you have for Scorpio? Okay. Hey, Larissa. 
Ooh, child. All right, 10 of Pentacles in reverse. You and somebody broke up. This could be somebody that um, after I read and I didn't need to listen to her and get my life together. <laughs> um, all right, so look, you and somebody broke up. This is somebody you feel like you could have really built a great life with. Um, like y'all, it, it's like both of y'all are probably very successful, um, but something happened and y'all broke up. For some of you, you could possibly be experiencing some um, financial hardship. Then you have, uh, somebody is rushing in. Knight of Wands is a fast moving energy. So somebody is ready to rush in. I feel like some of y'all have communication coming. If that's not it, then some of y'all could be going on vacation as well. Um, temperance. I do feel like eventually you and this person will reconcile. I don't feel like this is going to happen overnight because temperance is a slow moving energy. It requires patience. It's it like it'll happen in divine timing because temperance is all about like, okay, how can we, we need to restore balance. We need to get the harmony back in this. Um, it's just like the trash is, I don't know, compromising. It's, it's a lot that I feel like you and this person need to work on. Then you got this having a one. So either you block them or they blocked you, but somebody is blocked. <clears throat> Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Ten Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, so this is y'all energy. So it's like right now, I feel like some of y'all are sad. You're depressed. Um, you wasn't expecting, you know, for you guys to end. But some of you are also kind of holding back from them as well. <coughs> Spirit, tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Queen of Pentacles? Hmm. You got two queens here. Hey, Chanel. Um, girl, I still got a cold. <sighs> Spirit, tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there's, you're not talking to this person. Some of y'all are in a same-sex relationship. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But I just feel like you're not talking to this person currently. For some of you, this person could possibly have two people or you may have two people. So there's something about the temperance. Why is the temperance here? Clarify the temperance card. You feel like this person abandoned you, rejected you, left you out in the cold. Tell me about the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Five of wands. Yeah, it's just like y'all in conflict right now. Like y'all could be, if, if you're not blocked, then maybe y'all been arguing lately. Um, This person could be dating other people. You may feel like you got to compete for their time, for their love, for their affection. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles. They want to rebuild with you, but I feel like this is somebody that y'all wasn't actually in a like committed relationship. I feel like for some of you, it was friends with benefits. Now, for others of you, you may have been married to this person, but um, yeah, this person wants another shot at this with you. Like, let's, let's get to know each other all over again. Like, let's just start over. Let's just start brand new. Um, some of y'all can benefit from going to therapy. Your person may be open to that as well. So we're talking about the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Resource in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like... They're, they will eventually start putting more effort into this. And with the three of swords in reverse, it's like, can talk, tell her to text me when Aries come up. Oh, fuck. All right, I gotta get up and get that out of my phone. I'm gonna remember. Um, if I forget, can y'all tell me to text Morgan to tell her when Aries come up? Anywho, um, yeah, I feel like somebody wants to make something right with you. You're coming out of heartbreak. You're coming out of depression. You're, you're letting go of the sadness. Tell me about the five of ones. Why is the five of ones here? Tell me about the five of ones. Four of swords. Yeah, so right now, like I said, you're healing because you're going from the three of swords to the four of swords. So this is all about healing. 
doing some self-reflection, self-reflecting, soul searching. So what is the final likely outcome for Scorpios? Magician. Somebody manifesting. You're talking about the magician. Who is this magician? Who is this magician spirit? Knight of Cups and a Death card. This is somebody that you ended something with or they ended it with you. Um, but it's a lot of love between the two of you, though. It's a lot of love. Spirit, tell me about the Knight of Cups and the Death card. Page of Swords. They keep tabs on you. Um, they want to talk to you, but they could be angry about something or you could be angry about something. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Nine of Swords and the Two of Cups. One of y'all are in your head about having this forever with each other, having this happily ever after. Because it's like y'all both have mutual feelings for each other. There's a lot of love here. But for whatever reason, somebody is in their head like, what do we do? How do we get this back on track? How can we fix this? Do we let this be a missed opportunity? Somebody feels like they fucked up. <laughs> and they like, damn, how do I like, literally, how do I fix this? Tell me about the Nine of Swords and the Two of Cups. Why is the Nine of Swords and the Two of Cups here? Eight of Wands. Somebody could be ready to travel. But I do feel like you're going to talk to this person within the next eight days or so. One of you are going to take action. Um, some of you could live at a distance from this person. Also, if you're waiting on some sort of news that's coming in. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, if this person act like they didn't want to be in a relationship at one point, they now want to be in a relationship. They want to be in a relationship with you. Um, so that's what I have for you, Scorpio. You could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo. I mean, shit. A I mean, shit. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Well, I would just say Aries, Leo, because I don't know why that came out of my mouth. Um, but definitely a Sagittarius. Another Cancer. Gemini, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Why am I here? Ooh, that dress so scandalous. <laughs> no, another nigga can't handle it. Mm, she's shaking that like ooda ish. Something. Look in your eyes so devilish. <sighs> You're welcome. You're welcome. It's, it's probably is for Scorpio. You know what's so crazy? I actually heard it when I was shuffling for Scorpio, but I never said it out loud. And then when I closed the reading off, I started hearing it again. So, um, somebody like to see you on the phone. I don't know. you have a Pisces. What do Pisces need to know? What message it? Give me one more card for Pisces. One more card for Pisces. Ooh, Pisces. There's somebody that you have a very strong spiritual connection with. Um, I don't know if this is a new person or an old person, but there's somebody that you have a strong or will have a strong spiritual connection with. Full card, you have new beginnings coming in. Some of y'all could be ready to travel. Some of y'all may be ready to make some sort of change in your life that you've been needing to make for some time now. Two of cups, a new beginning. You listen, I just said you have a new beginning and it's gonna be in love. This is with somebody who's gonna feel like or already do if you know them, that um nobody compares to you, nobody gets them like you do. <clears throat> the feelings are mutual. It's great sexual chemistry. 
hermit card. You have the hermit and a high priestess. I'm telling you, this is a strong spiritual connection. Um, hermit card, you may like started isolating yourself lately. Um, like really staying to yourself, you know, working on yourself, healing, tapping more into your spiritual side. Some of y'all could be going back to school. Um, but you're doing like some soul searching. And with the high priestess, once again, you're tapping more into your spiritual side. And it's like, you you know that it's time for you to really start listening to your intuition more. Um, <clears throat> some of y'all may be meant to be a tarot reader. Some of y'all are really psychic. Also with the high priestess, I feel like something's about to happen that you don't see coming. But I feel like it's something good. <sighs> Spirit, tell me about the fool card. Why is the fool card here? Bitch, sun card. The most happiest and positive card in deck. I just said something about to happen and I feel like it's going to be positive. And then a sun card came out. You got, a, you got money coming in. You got love coming in. You got celebrations coming in. Mm, I love that for you. Spirit, tell me about the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here? You might receive a message from somebody. This could be somebody that you work with. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But somebody is crushing on y'all. Like I said, it could be somebody new or somebody old. I don't know if it's somebody old yet. To me, it's kind of feeling a little new. Um, who told you to do water first? You haven't texted me all day. You haven't sent me a TikTok all day. Like, who the fuck you been talking to all day? Hmm. Anywho, I will not get distracted. Um, so yeah, y'all have a message coming in from somebody. Also, some of y'all need to tap more into your creative side. Um, some of y'all might need to learn a new trade or like build upon a success that you already have. Spirit, tell me about the hermit card. Why is the hermit card here? Clarify the hermit card. Strength in reverse and temperance in reverse. There's something that y'all not feeling that confident about. Ma'am, I'm drowning here. Thanks for asking. You're drowning? Drowning where? Where are you? And what are you doing? And what does that mean? Um, anywho, yeah, some of y'all don't feel so confident about something. Um, and it's like, for some of you, somebody do want to rec reconcile with you or it's something that you need to heal, but you could be resisting, like, or you just taking your time doing it. Some of y'all could be overindulging in something or your person could be overindulging in something. Somebody wants you to be patient with them. Some of y'all, um, it's you, you find it hard to fully let go of somebody. Spirit, tell me about the high priestess. Why? Ooh. High priestess is clarified by the chariot and a star card. Whatever you're going through, whatever has you feeling like a little insecure or, or less confident in whatever decisions you make or whatever you're doing, with this chariot card, you're going to overcome whatever obstacles you're going through. Some of y'all might even be ready to buy a car. But there is someone that sees a future with... Uh, somebody sees a future with you. Somebody is hopeful. Somebody um, feels like you're their person. Like, it's soulmate energy. Um, somebody also watches you a lot on social media, whether you know this or not. Spirit, something about this sun card. Why is the sun card here? Bitch, 4 one. Some of y'all already moved into a new place. But some of y'all are really ready to be in a relationship, I'm telling you. So build your confidence back up. You have love coming in. Some of y'all, once again, y'all may be ready to go to some sort of celebration. It could be a wedding. It could be baby shower, a party. I don't fucking know. It could be a housewarming. You may be the one buying the house. Spirit, tell me about the strength in reverse and the temperance in reverse. Three of swords. Okay, so yeah, it's like somebody broke your heart and maybe you're a little scared of love right now. But there's that let your guard down. Continue to heal because something good is coming for you. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Pisces? Queen of swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody did a number on you. Like, <sighs> you feel really bitter about something. Um... If you are in communication with this person, it's like you might be talking to them crazy or they talk to you crazy. Tell me about the, tell me about the Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of y'all have trouble setting boundaries. Ace of Wands, look, y'all have new love coming in. 
Get out of that energy, okay? You got the sun card here. You're going to fix whatever you feel is broken. But you got you have new love coming in. So we're something about the ace of wands. Why is the ace of wands here? Page of swords in reverse, nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody wants to be in a relationship with you, but there is also somebody that is creating fake pages and keeping tabs on you. Tell me about the page of swords in reverse and the nine of pentacles in reverse. Ace of pentacles. You Listen, you got two aces. You have new beginnings coming into your finances and career and new beginnings coming in in love. I honestly feel like some of y'all gonna have two people to choose from. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Heavy Leo energy here, Sagittarius, Virgo, Cancer, Aquarius, all water signs. She liked the dance at the hip hop spots and them. Mm, 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 mm. Fuck, I gotta, um, mm, since y'all making, wait, what the fuck? Hold up. Oh, um, hold on, y'all. I gotta go get my phone so I can text Morgan. Hold on. Her spoiled ass. You bitch, I need a Snickers. It's been a long day. I've been working harder though. Are you going to the funeral tomorrow? You want to ride together? Because I'm going to get you. We're going to ride together. Um. Um. Where are you? Oh, Aries. I'm hearing. Um. Fuck, what song did I just get? Oh, always there when you call. Always on time, gave you my all, so baby, be mine. Yeah, come and get me. All right, what time? I think it's my favorite, but I'm trying. I know I don't need to be eating this either, but mm -hmm. Some of y'all may be dealing with a Libra. I have a Libra coming towards y'all. Yes, you have. My reading was deep, but good. Thank you, Stink. I'm trying to remember. Which one was you? Because I enjoy all the readings today. I'm not going to lie. I enjoy all y'all readings today. Okay, 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 yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, why don't you do one with the real, real positive one? And I kept saying, oh, I like this. I think that was you, wasn't it? All right, come on, Aries. I don't know, I gotta see what time it starts. I'm gonna hit you. When I... Girl, mommy gonna tell me, be at his house at 9.30. I think it started at 11. I'm not getting it at 9.30. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Stop talking to me, Morgan, damn. I was on a roll without talking. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes. Can I? Daddy! She ready for you. Spirit, what messages do you have? Hold up. Hold on. What messages do you have for Aries? What do Aries need to know? 
Now what? What y'all do that? <sighs> Girl, it started at 11. We can get there at 10 30, 10 45. Okay. Would it not be at your house at 10 o'clock? Girl, what messages do you have for Aries? What do Aries need to know? What messages do you have for Aries? What do Aries need to know? Thank you. Give me one more card for Aries. What do Aries need to know? One more card for Aries spirit. Mm, Aries, what is going on? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Either you feel like something or someone is not in, worth investing into anymore. Um, you feel like some somebody might be a waste of your time. And with the Eight of Swords, it's like somebody is just all in their head, overthinking. Almost feels like somebody is in a mental prison. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that's locked up. Um, and y'all keep having all these, y'all keep like, Y'all need to shift your, your mindset because a lot of y'all have been thinking really negative lately. Like, get out of your fucking head because you're the only one putting you, yourself in that. So, you could take yourself out of that. Um, then you got the moon card. So, moon card means, like, paying attention to your intuition. Like, really listen to your intuition. It's something about your dreams. You got to pay attention to your dreams because I feel like God is trying to send y'all a message, but y'all not listening. You, like, ignoring the damn message. Um... I feel like somebody feels drawn to you, but they try to hold back from you for whatever reason. I also feel like something already happened that you don't see coming. And unfortunately, it could be a tower moment. I don't know if this is a good tower or a bad tower. I will definitely clarify. but Or you may have already went through this tower. I don't know. But it's going to feel like a sudden shakeup in your life. Spirit, tell me about this. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Wands. So... Your intuition may be right. Don't invest. If it's somebody that you feel like is a waste of your time, don't invest in it because you got new love coming in. You have new love coming in. And it could be another Aries. Spirit, something about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Clarify the Eight of Swords. Ten of Wands in reverse. Somebody really is in their head about this being over. I feel like they don't really want this to be all the way over. Um, they feel like y'all's story is not finished yet. Spirit, tell me about the moon card. Why is the moon card here? But they come with so much baggage and I don't feel like they are letting that baggage or that or whatever burdens they're carrying go. And you feel like I'm tired of your burdens being my burdens. Like I'm, I'm tired, like I'm motherfucking tired. Spirit, tell me about the moon card. Why is the moon card here? Clarify the moon card. Ace of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Tell me about the Ace of Cups in reverse. Two of Cups and a Four of Pentacles. Tired, tired of the way she treat me. Tired. Girl, we'll be treating you bad. Um, anywho. Yeah, I feel like you and this person broke up. But the thing is, it's a lot of love between the two of you. But it's like you getting to the point where you know you need to hold back. Like, you have got to hold back. Um, because it's like a burden to you. And with the Four of Pentacles here, it's like... Y'all need to, y'all need to, like... Start focusing on your career. You know that song that be in the Tyler Perry movies. No. I don't even watch his movies. I hate his fucking movies. Um, some of y'all need to start budgeting and saving money as well. Some of y'all may was tr trying to save up for a wedding and then something happened and maybe somebody called the wedding off. Spirit, tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower spirit. Two of ones are me first. Yes, yeah, something cause okay. For those of you have who have not went through this tower moment yet, y'all gonna go through this tower moment, and it's about a decision that you know that you need to make, but it's like you're you're refusing to make it or you're struggling to make it. So God is like, you know what? 
you don't want to make it after I didn't told you, gave you so many signs that you need to make this decision, so I'm making it for you. But when I make it for you, baby, you're going to wish like how you would have made it when I was um, telling you to make it. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Clarify the Ace of Wands. This new lover has the potential to go the distance, to go very far. This is somebody that you can really build a legacy with. Y'all are meant to leave um, generational wealth to the next to, to your offsprings. This is somebody that you can have it all with. This is somebody that's going to be successful. This is somebody that's already well established. They have money where they can come from money. So there's something more about this new lover. Ace of Swords and a Page of Pentacles. Um, I feel like it's somebody that's a hard worker, a great communicator. Some of y'all might meet this person within a week or two, or you may already know this person. But this is going to be somebody that wants a relationship. Now, for others of you as well, somebody from your past could also be um, going to like send you a message or apology or something. They want to talk to you. They want to have some sort of adult conversation. They want to put it all out on the table. Um, yeah, like I said, that's going to happen within a week or two. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Aries? Final likely outcome for Aries. King of Cups. Tell me about this King of Cups, Spirit. Tell me about the King of Cups. Six of Swords. Number. Yeah, this person, even if they hold back from you, they genuinely, they genuinely do love you. And they want a second chance at this with you. Tell me about the Six of Swords in reverse. Clarify the Six of Swords in reverse. For some of you, this person can drive a black BMW. Um, like an X6. Eight of Wands, yeah, communication coming in, fast communication. Maybe within the next eight days, some of y'all can also be ready to travel. If you're waiting on some sort of news that's coming in, some of y'all are meant to start an online business. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Lovers and Intemperance, somebody wants to fix this with you. They really love you, but I feel like with this Lovers card, y'all might have two people to choose from because y'all definitely got new love coming in. So y'all going to have to decide. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you, Aries. Girl, you're doing too much. Nova, cut it out. You're good. Thank you. I'll be ready at by today. Okay. I'm going to be up bright and early. Can you stop it? Like, for real. Somebody world, Leo. Hey, my Gemini Nova. My dog looking like what's going on. Tell, tell your dog that my dog is wretched and just be doing the most. What do 
Leos need to know? What messages do you have for Leos? What do Leos need to know? What do Leos need to know, Spirit? Give me three more cards. What do? Mm -mm. Two more cards. What do Leos need to know? One more card. What do Leos need to know, Spirit? Hmm. I feel like somebody is ready to rush into you. This Knight of Wands. Um, this could be somebody that is a player. I will definitely clarify just to be sure. Um, some of y'all could be ready to travel. But y'all standing on business with this person. Whoever this person is that's coming in, y'all are standing on business. Y'all are setting boundaries with them. Um, y'all gonna be like, listen, Ray Ray, I know you love me, but I also know you not shit. So if you don't get your shit together, I am not repeating this fucking cycle with you. And that's what y'all gonna tell them. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna start making like hit over heart decisions. Um, you see B. Who the hell is B? What that mean? Um, yeah, it's like it's time for y'all. So, I don't know why I just heard living your truth. So some of y'all might need living your truth, whatever that sounds like. Maybe y'all ready to come out the closet. I don't fucking know. Um, shrimp card. Y'all finding the shrimp to stand on business with this person. Because I feel like in the past, it probably was hard for you to do that. Um, my friend Bianca, I call her B. She on the live. And you saying, do I see her? Girl, you got me confused. Um, anywho, uh, hangman in reverse. So either you're starting to see, oh, you're a B. Hey, B. Hey, girl. Welcome, welcome. Either you starting to see things from a new perspective or they're going to start to see things from a new perspective. So let's clarify, see what's going on. Spirit, tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? No, I'm saying like you see what she's saying, B. Oh, you talking to her, Carol. Okay. Spirit, tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Nine of Pentacles. Whoever this Knight of Wands is, hi, Niska. Um, whoever this Knight of Wands is, is somebody that thinks highly of you. They feel like you're very beautiful. They feel like you're very successful. Um, they feel like they see you as the type that they want around for the long term. Some of y'all are ready to like jump out there and make some sort of like business move. Like you ain't even gonna think about it. You're not gonna overthink, you're just gonna do it. And it's actually gonna work out for you. It's gonna be really, really successful. Um, some of y'all, well, most of y'all, your confidence is about to go through the roof, okay? Um, it's like you looking better than ever to people. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Magician in reverse. Yeah, it's like it's somebody you don't trust. Tell me about this magician in reverse. Emperor. What? Who is this emperor spirit? Who is this emperor? Ace of Cups. I don't know. You got somebody coming in. I feel like you got new love coming in. It's going to more than likely be somebody older than you. They are very stable. They, somebody of high status, um, I don't know. I like the emperor. Tell me about this ace of cups spirit. Why is the ace of cups here? Tell me about the ace of cups. King of swords. All right, y'all got a lot of fucking energies in this reading. Y'all have a lot of options coming y'all way. I see why y'all showing up as the damn nine of pentacles. Tell me about the king of swords spirit. Who is this king of swords? Who is this King of Swords? Temperance in reverse. Mm. I don't know if I really like whoever this King of Swords is. Whoever this King of Swords is, like, they they got a lot of growing up to do. And they, it's like they may be resisting right now and they're asking you to be patient with them. They may be overindulge, uh, overindulging and shit. But my thing is, like, what the fuck you feel like, look like waiting for them when you showed up as the Nine of Pentacles? Okay. And you already have all these options. It doesn't make sense for you to sit and wait for them. Spirit, something about the shrimp card. Why is the shrimp card? God damn it. Hold on. I guess they got mad when I said that. Spirit, something about the shrimp card. Why is the shrimp card here? 
clarify the shrimp card. Page your cups. Somebody is finding a shrimp to send you a message. Tell me about the page your cups. Why is the page of cups here? Clarify the page of cups here. Six of cups. Somebody is heavily reminiscing about y'all. They feel like you're their soulmate. Like y'all could have shared a past life connection. This could be your baby daddy or baby mother. I don't know. This could be um, somebody you dated in your childhood. I don't know. But somebody's also thinking about the sex between you two. Spirit, something about the hangman in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I told you somebody is starting to see things from a new perspective, especially if they feel you moving on because it's like, I don't want to be in conflict with you. I don't want to argue with you anymore. Tell me about the Five of Wands in reverse. King of Cups. Uh, child, listen. Why do y'all have all these people coming through this fucking reading? Now, let's see who the damn King of Cups is. Spirit, who is this King of Cups? Who is the King of Cups? Oh my God, Knight of Pentacles and the Devil. What the fuck? Whoever this King of Cups is, is obsessed with y'all. They have a lot of love for y'all, but they're really obsessed with y'all. But at the same time, it's like they're dragging their feet to either make something right. Patricia, very funny. To make something right or, um, or to just change their ways altogether. Let me see something. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles and the Devil. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Devil. Hierophant. They want marriage with you. I don't know what's holding them back. I feel like they eventually will do it. Let me clarify this devil more. Spirit, tell me about this devil card. Why is the devil here? This is a weird, crazy ass reading. Tell me about the Six of Wands. This could be somebody famous. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. That was an inside joke. Anywho, this could be somebody famous um, with the six of wands here. Somebody of high status. Somebody who, like, has money. But this person is going to put you on a pedestal. They're going to think the world of you. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. Tell me the empress. Bitch, you're going from the nine of pentacles to the empress. Empress and nine of pentacles is basically the same thing. Um, but... Yeah, y'all already be in a relationship. I'm telling y'all, y'all already be in a relationship and some of y'all gonna be pregnant. What in the world? This is a weird reading, y'all. And I can't even tell y'all who y'all gonna end up with. Like, and I promise y'all, I'm not just trying to, I'm not trying to make it long because it's Leo, but every time I pull out a card, it's a different person coming through. Spirit, tell me about the Empress. Why is the Empress here? Clarify the Empress. There's too many cards. Hold on. Spirit, tell me about this empress. Why is he, what in the world? Five of cups. Why is the five of cups here, spirit? Clarify the five of cups. Eight of cups in reverse. Whoever this person was that broke your heart, um, made you cry, cheated on you, whatever the case may be, they're coming back. So you have old, somebody old coming back. You got... I don't know. You just got a lot of people coming towards you. That's all I can fucking say. I don't know who's who. It's just too many energies here. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Leo's? Final likely outcome for Leo's. Eight of Swords. You in your head, you're overthinking something. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Yes, look. New beginnings in love. New beginnings in your career. But Nova. But for some reason, it's like, Daddy! But for some reason, it got you in your head. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Star in reverse. Some of y'all may not want to take somebody back or it's just like you're scared because it's like you lost hope in this connection. Tell me about the Star in reverse. Nine of Cups, but you getting some sort of wish fulfillment. Give me one final message for Leo Spirit. Seven of swords in reverse and a high priest is an upright, child. Something y'all don't see coming at this person. Listen, high priest is in reverse is something you don't see coming. Seven of swords. I mean, high priest is in an upright, something you don't see coming. Seven of swords in reverse. Somebody wants to reveal something to you. So whatever is been hidden from you is about to be revealed to you. Somebody wants to tell you the truth about something. Somebody doesn't want to lie to you, deceive you. I don't know. But that's what I got for y'all, Leo. was 
a lot of energy. Lord. No, King of Cups is a water sign. Check it. Let's see. Girl, I don't need no photo water. Today, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to post it. Okay. <clears throat> so what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What do Sagittarius need to know? Give me three more cards. What messages do you have for that? Two more cards. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? That's too many cards. Sir, give me two more cards. What One more card. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Hmm. Y'all are going through it with somebody that you really want to be with. It's like y'all doing a lot of arguing. This person may be cheating or you may be the one cheating. I don't fucking know. Um, but with the Fool card, I do see new beginnings coming in for you. And with this Ace of Wands in reverse, it's like the passion is starting to die out between you and someone. Some of y'all could have had an abortion or a miscarriage as well. Um, but also, it's like... Some of y'all are saying you want new love, but you're not really receptive to new love. It's like you feel like you're not ready for new love. <clears throat> Miami could be significant to some of y'all, whatever that means to you. So here's something about the Nine of Cups in reverse. That's a nice one, all of those. Tell me about the Nine of Cups in reverse, spirit. Lovers in reverse. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, some of y'all broke up with somebody because they had you in a third party situation. And some of y'all could have felt like, even if it wasn't a third party situation, some of y'all could have felt like you were more emotionally invested than this person was. But I do feel like somebody may be letting go of a third party. So there's something about the five of ones. Seven of swords. So we're clarify the seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here? Yeah, it's like y'all were arguing because once again, this person had you in a third party and with the seven of swords here, I feel like they lied about it or they downplayed a situation with another person, which ultimately caused y'all to break up. And it's like, not only did y'all break up and it fucked up the relationship, but you feel like it fucked up the friendship too. And it's like, every time y'all try to make things work, you just keep being reminded of why it didn't work out in the first place. Spirit, tell me about the full card. Why is the full card here? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, y'all not with this person right now. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Will of Fortune. But something's going to happen in divine timing. Because at the end of the day, this person feels like you're their soulmate. Um, the letter M could be significant for some of y'all. <coughs> um, <clears throat> or the letter T. God, I need to take some medicine. Um... But as far as your career, if you feel like your career is just like not going how you need it to go, with this Wheel of Fortune is telling you this is the time to jump out there. This is the time to start that business, expand that business, apply for that job, ask for that promotion or that pay raise. Because good luck, you have good luck coming in. The will is turning in your favor. And this is your energy, Sagittarius energy. Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Wands in reverse. Why is the Ace of Wands in reverse here? 
Ace of Cups. Listen, you have new beginnings and love coming in. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Clarify the Ace of Cups. High Priestess. Yeah, and it's just telling you, like, whoever this lover is that's coming in, whether it's somebody new, whether it's somebody old, just listen to, listen to your intuition. Do not ignore the red flags. Spirit, tell me about the lovers in reverse. Why is the lovers in reverse here? Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's time for you to start setting boundaries with this person, especially if you're going to take them back. You got to set boundaries. You got to remember who the fuck you are because Queen of Swords, she's that bitch. She knows she's that bitch. And some people actually may be like, she's such a fucking bitch. <laughs> but that's because she's been through a lot and then survived it all. So she feels like she could be that bitch. Spirit, tell me about the three of cups in reverse. Something in my eyelash. What the fuck? Oh my God, y'all. Oh my God, y'all. Okay. Um, Spirit, tell me about the three of cups in reverse. Queen of Cups. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Yeah, okay. Y'all need to um, <clears throat> start pouring more love into yourself. Stop pouring so much love into this connection. Stop pouring so much love into this man or this woman. And start pouring more into yourself, okay? Because you are so deserving of love. And you need to know that. And some of y'all are going to find a strength to hold back from this person. Because you need to do that right now while you focus on yourself. Spirit, tell me about this high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? Tell me about the high priestess. God damn it, bitch. Spirit, tell me about the high priestess. Nine of Cups in reverse. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse here? Verify. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, some of y'all taking a um, step back to really assess the situation with you and this person like is this worth investing my time into is it who i said that to i said that about another sign what sign i said that about i don't know i can't remember i'm sure y'all will, uh, will remind me but yeah it's like you taking a step back like is it worth me keep investing my time into this like what am i getting out of this is it ever going to change is it going to get better tell me about the seven of pentacles why is the seven of pentacles here Seven of Cups. Yeah, y'all confused. Part of you, like, I, oh, I said it for cancer. Yeah, so some of y'all dealing with a cancer. That's so crazy because the cancer card just came out. It's like some of y'all just want to start weighing your options. And I feel like this is the person's issue, too. It's like they love you, they want to be with you, but they feel overwhelmed with the relationship. So what is the final likely outcome for Sagittarius? Final likely outcome for Sagittarius. Five of Swords in Reverse. Somebody wants y'all to stop arguing. They want to stop uh, sabotaging the relationship. They want to stop cheating. Something about the five of swords in reverse. And I say want to because I don't know if they will. Justice card. They want to right their wrongs. They want to make something. Um, they want to balance out the scales. Something about the justice card. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel like you're so fucking beautiful. You're so successful in your own right. And they look at you as somebody they want around for the long term. But y'all also already have options. And your money is about to do good as well. It's just time for y'all to get focused. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Swords in Reverse. Tell me about this Ace of Swords in Reverse. Pages. Yeah, it's like right now you're not talking to this person. But they're going to reach out soon. They do keep tabs on you. They watch you on social media a lot. Higher than at the bottom of the deck. They see you as a person they're going to marry one day. I don't know. But that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Um, y'all, I gotta hang up and come right back because you know it's a timer and it's about to cut out. So I'm gonna come right back so I can finish Earth and Air. Do not go first. It is Taurus. <clears throat> I'm going to hurry up with y'all because I got to go watch Carisha, please.
Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What do Taurus need to know? Ooh. Give me two more cards for Taurus. Tell me about your earth signs. <laughs> I gotta... Listen, I love me some Parisha. Give me one more card for earth sign. I mean, shit, I said for earth sign. Give me one more card for Taurus. What do Taurus need to know? I said one more, but fine. I'll take all of them. Um... Somebody that some of y'all could be married or already in like a committed relationship. Um, if not, I feel like you have a committed relationship coming in, or um, it may move on to marriage. Justice in reverse, but I do feel like you and this person could be going through something right now. I don't feel like it is something that y'all can't get through. I do feel like y'all can get through this. But the only issue is, it's like one of y'all lacks accountability, okay? Um, like say if it's your person, it's like they know that they treated you unfairly, but they may be like lacking accountability. Um, judgment card, they're, de they're definitely coming back though. They're definitely coming back. Page of Swords, they keep tabs on you a lot. And it's so funny because you got the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. King of Swords is the biggest stalker out of all the kings. Spirits, tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay, so y'all broke up with this person. They broke up with you. Because like I said, something happened. They treated you unfairly. Spirits, tell me about the higher fit. Why is the higher fit here? Queen of Wands in reverse and Four of Wands in reverse. Mm, maybe I spoke too soon. Um... For some of you, this person could have been married or in a relationship with somebody else, whatever. Because sometimes the queen of wands in reverse could be a mistress. And with the four of wands in reverse, this person may be ready to move out of a home. Like if they are married, they may be ready to move out. If that's not the case, then whatever this person did to you may have made you like insecure. Um, and maybe you put them out if y'all were living together. Spirit, tell me about the justice in reverse. Why is the justice in reverse here? Clarify the justice in reverse. Two of pentacles. Yeah, somebody was juggling two people. Tell me about the judgment card. Why is the judgment card here? Nine of swords in reverse and temperance in reverse. Some of y'all are getting to the point where you're tired of stressing about this. You're tired of feeling anxious about it. Like, what's coming next? Is they going to make it right? Are they going to do this? Are they going to do that? Now it's just like, you know what? I'm letting go of worry. Like, I, I don't got time for this shit. Either they're going to make it right or they're not. And they're asking you to be patient with them. Spirit, definitely out my BD out. Definitely out. Put my BD out three weeks after the move in. Damn, Spirit, tell me about the page of swords. Three of swords. Yeah, okay, so y'all are heartbroken right now. Because the three of swords means, like, somebody words, actions, or intentions broke your heart. Or they could have had you in a third-party situation. Tell me about the ace... Damn, can I get it out first? Tell me about the Ace of Cups in Reverse, Spirit. Why is the Ace of Cups in Reverse here? Clarify the Ace of Cups in Reverse. Why is the Ace of Cups in Reverse here? Five of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, so this person realized, like, they hurt you. Um, They're tired of sabotaging. They want to make things right. They don't want to argue with you anymore. Um... It's like they're trying to come back in a better energy. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Four of Wands in reverse. Full card. Yeah, it's ready to be a new beginning. I felt, and I said that in the beginning, I felt like whatever y'all went through, I feel like it could, something could be fixed. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here, Spirit? Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? This person feels like you're their possession and they're obsessed with you. For some of you, this person could be in the streets or like maybe they're like somebody that possibly got money and feel like, well, I do X, Y, and Z for you. So they feel like they could do whatever the fuck they want. And you like, no, bitch. Right out of there, wrong bitch. Tell me about the four of pentacles and the devil card. 
Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person was a hoe. <laughs> but I do feel like they're rushing in. So we're talking about the Temperance in Reverse and the Nine of Swords in Reverse. King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I do feel like for many of you, this person got money. Let me see something. Let's talk about the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. They not letting you go, though. Even though some of y'all are one foot in and one foot out, but I feel like you're more in than you, you're out right now. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Six of Pentacles? Yep. They were given somewhere else, and that's what broke your heart. You feel like at times they were breadcrumbing you, holding back, taking care of somebody else, taking care of another fucking household. I don't know. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Taurus? Empress. Why is the Empress here, Spirit? Clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's like y'all not talking right now, but they know that if they don't hurry up and make a move, then you may really try to move on from them. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. They're manifesting you back. Tell me about this magician. Damn, that was fast. You're gonna hear from a like you're gonna hear from a god damn it, I can't get my words. <laughs> like I'm speaking in tongues or something. Mm -mm. You're going to hear from them again. Spirit, tell me about the I mean shit. No, give me one final message for Taurus. What? Yeah, y'all got a new beginning coming in with this person. They but they just like, can we leave the past in the past and just start brand new? Um, but that's what I have for you, Taurus. He can do a use turn. <laughs> Leave the past in the past is crazy. Yeah, I told you. Remember when I started reading off with saying this person does not take accountability? That's why he's there saying, like, let's just leave the past in the past. They don't take accountability. It's like, all right, I don't want to rehash that. You know I fucked up. I know I fucked up. We're not going to rehash that. Where's <laughs> ah, some of these men and shit? And some of you women, too. So let me not discriminate. Not you got to miss him. Mm hmm. Driving me crazy. Virgos, your turn. All right, well, I'll be hearing this song. Don't know if you got a girl. Don't mean a disrespect, but thoughts of you rule my world. I even think about you, I swear. Visions of you and I. Yeah, I'm hearing that song. What is that? Tidra, Mo Tidra Moses. Do you have for Virgos? What do Virgos need to know? Mm. Give me two more cards. What messages do you have for Virgos? Oh my god. One more card for Virgos, Spirit. What is going on, Virgos? Okay. I feel like y'all are tired. 
Many of you are tired. Many of you feel like some of y'all have like a lot of people depending on y'all. I feel like some of y'all are just sad, depressed. It's something you want, but you almost feel like you can't go after it or something just keeps seeming to keep getting delayed. Four ones in reverse. Somebody could be breaking up, divorcing, moving out of a house. Five of Pentacles. If somebody left you out in a cold, um, no, I'm sorry. Somebody definitely left. I don't mean to laugh. Fuck. Somebody left y'all out in the cold, okay? Made you feel rejected, abandoned you, or whatever. Um, they're coming back to balance the scales out with you. They're coming back to make things right. But here's the thing. If this person was married, I feel like they're getting a divorce. Or if this person was living with somebody else, I feel like they're moving out of that home. Because if they're with somebody else, they are not happy with that person. I mean, the fucking sun is in reverse. They are not happy with that person. And the sun is not shining in that household. So there's something about the sun in reverse. Why is the sun in reverse here? Clarify the sun in reverse. Oh, okay. Strength in the eight of pentacles. If it's y'all that is feeling down... You want to find the strength to persevere. You want to find the strength to pick yourself back up, focus on your career, um, do things that make you happy again. Somebody also may find the strength to try to put more effort into this connection with you. And this is your energy, Virgo energy, heavy Leo energy here as well. So some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo that you feel like you want to work on things with. Spirit, tell me about the four wands in reverse. All right, that's too many cards. Hold on. Spirit, tell me. Amen. And yes, he did move in with her. Damn. Tell me about the four wands in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I'm telling you, somebody is divorcing or breaking up, and they're also moving out of a house. Somebody is not happy. Tell me about the five of pentacles. Why is the five of pentacles here? Clarify the five of pentacles. Ten of cups. Look, and this is how they feel about you. Because I'm going to assume you and this person stop dealing with each other. Because they probably ghosted you or whatever happened. But they want the ten of cups with you. They want to be a blended family with you. They want to have this happily ever after because you make them happy. Spirit, tell me about the justice card. Why is the justice card here? King of Pentacles. This is y'all energy. If y'all are going through anything legal, it's going to go in your favor. Um, But you, I feel like y'all going to get back to yourself again. Spirit, tell me about the shrimp card and the eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the shrimp card and the eight of Pentacles. Why is the shrimp? Temperance. Yeah, y'all already do a lot of healing. Y'all are restoring balance in your life or even in... Whatever connection you want to be in. Spirit, something about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. All right, wait, too many cards. Spirit, something about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Wands, yeah, y'all release it would no longer serve you, or this person is releasing burdens and whatever is holding them back or holding them down. I mean, weighing them down. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? God damn it. Tell me about the Ten of Cups here. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah. So although this person wants this happily ever after with you, I feel like you and this person are not currently talking right now. Like, y'all are not speaking to one another. Tell me about the... Or if y'all are, it's just like, y'all not really hearing what the other really is saying right now. Spirit, tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Clarify the King of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. You feel like somebody is like setting boundaries with you or something, or you need to learn how to start setting boundaries. Tell me about the Queen of Swords spirit. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Eight of Swords. You're all in your head about something. You're overthinking. If this not you, then it's definitely your person that's overthinking. Somebody feel like they're in a mental prison. Tell me, like their back is up against the wall. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Three of Swords. Yeah, you're heartbroken right now. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Five of Cups. Somebody is depressed. I don't know if this is you or your person, but somebody is depressed. Somebody has been crying. I kind of feel like this is y'all. 
Maybe this person cheated on you. Something happened. Um, but it's like you're experiencing a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of sadness. Oh my God, Virgo. Or this may be your person or maybe both of y'all. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Some of y'all could be mourning the loss of a loved one. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah. If you're saying the same thing, somebody broke up. Somebody's broken up. Somebody wasn't, I feel like this person wasn't giving you the recognition that you needed. They wasn't showing up for you when you needed them to. Once again, another Leo, like it's a lot of Leo in this fucking reading. Um, and earth energy. Some of y'all can be dealing with another earth sign or a Libra. Yeah, I'm a Virgo and it's not my energy for once. I'm shocked. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Virgos? Five of ones in reverse. Somebody don't want to argue with you anymore. They hate being in conflict with you. Look, another Leo card. I can't make this up. Spirit, tell me about the five of ones in reverse. Knight of Cups and two of ones. Somebody needs to make some sort of decision. And it involves coming in with a love offer. Tell me about the Knight of Cups and the two of ones. Some of y'all could be ready to travel. Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, some of y'all may be letting go of the past or they letting go of their past, but somebody's letting somebody go. Tell me about the Six of Cups in reverse. Page of Swords, Hermit, and a Hangman. Somebody is starting to see things from a different, a new perspective, and I feel like they're coming forward. Whatever issues you're having, you're going to be able to overcome them. Some of y'all are stuck about making a decision about buying a car as well. Um... Tell me about the chariot card. Star card. Yeah, y'all gonna be healing. Y'all gonna do a lot of healing. You're gonna get your happiness back. And I feel like you're gonna fix things with somebody. They're gonna fix it with you. Tell me about the star card. Why is the star card here? Tower. Tell me about this tower. And it's a death. Yeah, it's gonna take for something to end somewhere else. Something is like crashing down. Right into the ground. And I feel like you don't even see this coming. Tell me about the death card. This was a crazy reading. Tell me about the death card. Seven of Cups in reverse. Somebody's not confused. They know what they need to do. And I feel like the, your person knows that they need to end something with another person. Because they're in a toxic fucking relationship. Like that shit is very toxic. And they feel like they can't take it no more. Alright, that's what I have for you, Virgo. Um... Y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio or Aquarius or a Capricorn as well. Taurus. Cancer. All air signs is here. Pisces. Leo, of course, I said that was in here. Heavy. Sagittarius. That was a lot, Chanel. Do you have for Capricorns? 
what do Capricorns need to know? Give me one more card for Capricorn. One more card for... That's too many cards. One more card for Capricorn Spirit. Damn, I keep giving me all these damn cards. All right. Um... Let me think, let me think. Shawty, we gonna give you an Oprah raise. Meaning that real big, bitch, I need it. I really need it. Um, You got somebody wanting to come back. You got somebody wanting to come back. There's also some things in your life that you're really manifesting that's gonna come in. You just need to know it. Um, but you really got to get clear on what exactly is that you want because I don't think some of y'all know what y'all really want. Why many you want this and do you change your mind and you want that? Like, what is it? Get clear because you ask God for one thing and then you're, but the thoughts you have is something totally different. And when you're manifesting, you got to make sure those thoughts align with what you're asking God for. Um, Eight of Pentacles. You need to get on the real hot of something. Don't even get me started with that. I had two opportunities and missed both opportunities. But I would love to be on there. But anywho. Um, Eight of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, it's like y'all ready to build something. But it's also... Um... Wait, y'all, don't distract me because I feel like Capricorn reading might be ready to be deep. I don't know. Um, yeah, y'all already build something. Y'all y'all already be really busy. Some of y'all are starting a new business. Some of y'all are starting a new job. But y'all are going to be really busy because you got to put that hard work in in order to see some rewards. But also, it's somebody that you want. It's, okay, when it comes to love... Y'all want somebody to put more effort into a connection with you. You want them to start showing up and doing more for you. But with the temperance in reverse here, I just feel like there's no, it's like an imbalance in y'all connection. I also feel like this person could be overindulging in something. It could be drinking, it could be drugs, gambling, cheating. I don't fucking know. Um, and if it's not them, maybe it's y'all. So there's something about the six of swords in reverse. Ten of Swords. Yes, yeah, something I feel like the subscriber reading was good today. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Um, something is like over and done with with you and this person. You feel betrayed or stabbed in the back or something. Spirit, tell me. Tell me about the magician. Who is this magician? Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, whoever this magician is, y'all are not speaking right now. Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Page of Wands. Somebody is stuck wondering, like, should I reach out? Should I, should I send a message? Should I not send a message? That could be you or that could be them. Spirit, tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Clarify the Knight of Wands in reverse. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you have a new beginning coming in, especially when it comes to your career and finances. But even with love, somebody may be like, all right, I'm not going to be a hoe no more. <laughs> At least not for the next 30 days. Like, I don't know. But <sighs> I don't know, y'all. Spirit, tell me about the temperance and reverse. Why is the temperance and reverse here? Clarify the temperance and reverse. King of Cups and a five of ones reverse. Okay. So there is somebody that really loves y'all. Like this person genuinely love you. Um, and they don't want to argue with you no more. They like, I just, can we just not argue? Like, I don't want to argue. I don't want to be in conflict with you anymore. Like, let's just fix this. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Two of Pentacles and a Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person was out here really doing them. Just juggling you and multiple women or multiple men. And I feel like that's what ended things between the two of you. Talk about the Ace of Swords in reverse. 
cherry in reverse. Yeah, things are not moving forward between you and this person right now. And I honestly feel like you need to be focusing on your career. Tell me about the page of wands. Now watch y'all give me all these cards. Hold up, y'all. Spirit, tell me about the page of wands. Five of swords. Yeah, if y'all are the ones that's contemplating what, whether or not you should send them a message, don't do it. Let them come to you. Do not send them a message. Because that's going to make them feel like they don't need to change. Because they feel like you always going to take them back for whatever reason. So don't do it. Spirit, tell me about this king of cups. Who is this king of cups? Nine of cups. You get some sort of wish fulfillment. This person can see themselves being with you. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Capricorns? Final likely outcome. Her live about scripting and manifesting was great. We got to do another one one day. I know we do. Five of Cups. Final likely outcome. Y'all are sad. Y'all depressed. Y'all been crying lately. Some of y'all could be mourning the loss of a loved one or just this relationship altogether. Tell me about the Five of Cups spirit. Why is the Five of Cups here? Fair. Six of Wands in reverse. Yes, y'all definitely broke up with somebody. Y'all are sad because this person doesn't show up for you. They don't give you the attention that you desire. Tell me about the six of wands in reverse. Why is the six of... Herman and the queen of pentacles. It's like y'all know y'all deserve better. And it's going to take for you to go in Herman mode. It's time for you to disconnect, isolate yourself, do some soul searching. Some of y'all can um, benefit from going to therapy or speaking to a spiritual advisor. Some of y'all also need to go back to school. Um, but y'all got to get your mind right and remember who you are and build back up your confidence. Tell me about the Hermit and the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Wands in reverse. Some of y'all could have been this person's sneaky link. Um, or they just made you really insecure. Tell me about the Queen of Wands in reverse. Three of Swords. Yeah, y'all are really dealing with heartbreak right now. Y'all are really dealing with heartbreak. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Knight of Swords in reverse. But this person, like, I don't want to argue with you. I don't want to argue. So, wait, give me one final message for Capricorn. So, what comes to reverse in the Three of Pentacles? Yeah, it's telling you to leave this person alone because they're going to keep you in this third party situation. Even if they say they want to change, I don't see them leaving this third party alone. And I feel like for some of you, they may just keep you as a friend with benefits situation right now. So it's best for you to disconnect, like I said, four swords and start healing from this and move on. I know that's not what some of y'all want to hear because you want your fucking man back or you want your girl back. But it is what it is. Like, I ain't going to sugarcoat the shit. Um, but yeah, that's what I have. So on to air signs. You've been saying that since I've been messing with this dude. Well, then, girl, you need to stop messing with that dude then. You're welcome, Nicole. Oh, Lord. You're welcome. Gemini's. Let's see. Once the energy is taken back over, table turn y'all. Yeah. You want chocolate? Mm, that ain't shuffle good. 
Whatever you been, she looks so good. Girl, I have the damn Snickers. <laughs> you have for Gemini's. What do Gemini's need to know? Give me three more cards. Two more cards for Gemini's. What do... Oh my God. One more card for Gemini's. What do Gemini's need to know? Y'all already move on to calmer waters. If you feel like you just been going through it, life's been a little chaotic, things about to calm down for you, okay? Y'all are choosing your peace of mind over anything right now. Knight of Swords in reverse, you're just like, listen, I don't want to argue about absolutely fucking nothing. I'm not letting you get out, get, get me out of my character. I'm not allowing you to stress me to fuck out. Like, I'm not arguing with you. Whatever happened between us happened, and that's just what it is. Um, World in reverse, somebody wants another cycle at this with you. They want to repeat another cycle. Um... Ace of Pentacles, y'all have new beginnings coming in your finances. And I feel like in love as well. Some of y'all already get a new job. Oh, uh, promotion, pay raise, start a new business. Something, it's something y'all ready to do. Spirit, something about the Six of Swords. What? Six of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Swords and a Seven of Swords. What? Damn, you got the Six, Seven, and Eight. All together. Um, I feel like somebody really wants to come forward, but they're like literally all in their head because they know that they fucked up so much. They lied so much. They deceived you so much. It's just like, I don't know what to do right now. Like, I don't know what to do. And some of y'all may be in y'all head because this person's going to come back and you like, I don't even think I can trust them. Tell me about the Knight of Swords in reverse. Y'all got a lot of swords here. Nine of Cups. Y'all got some sort of wish fulfillment. You're you ready to have a boost in your confidence. Some of y'all gonna get some sort of recognition in your career. Some of y'all already have multiple options in love. Y'all already experienced a lot of success and happiness. Tell me about the world in reverse. Queen of Swords and a King of Wands. So some of y'all have a King of Wands coming back, but Queen of Swords is your energy. So it's telling you when this fucking King of Wands come back, which is somebody that probably looks very good, fun, spontaneous, has amazing sex, <laughs> successful, but whatever they did, they, they fucked up in some type of way. So it's saying when this person comes back, you have got to set boundaries with them. Okay? You got to set boundaries with them. You got to stand on business. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Because the Queen of Swords is a no-nonsense type of woman. So we're talking about the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Wands in reverse. I feel like something started off very fast for y'all with this person, but then it ended just as fast. But also, somebody may be ready to travel, and when they come back from travel, I feel like that's when y'all going to have some sort of conversation. Something about the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords, Spirit. Why is the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords here? Emperor in reverse. Yeah, this person does feel like they don't have control over this situation with you anymore. And they don't feel as stable. Spirit, something about the Nine of Cups. Page of Pentacles. They're going to send you a message. They're going to apologize. Or they may even give you a gift. Tell me about the King of Wands. Ooh. Four of Cups. Whoever this King of Wands is, they want to reach out to you so bad, but they're just trying to find the words to say. So right now they're holding back. Think about the Four of Wands. I mean, Four of Cups. Empress. Hmm. Why is the Empress here, Spirit? Clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress, Spirit. Nine of Wands. 
they hold you in high regard. They're not giving up. The initials M or P could be significant. Tell me about, who is this emperor in reverse? Shrimp card, night of one. Somebody that's ready to find the shrimps to rush in toward to you, contact you. Y'all got two different energies here. Tell me about the eight of wands in reverse. Five of Swords. Hmm. Clarify the Five of Swords spirits. What about the Five of Swords? Queen of Wands. Somebody sabotaged this relationship, but they just think so highly of you, though. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Wands. King of Swords, Six of Wands, Queen of Cups. What the fuck? It's so many different energies in this reading. I feel like this man was a cheater. Or this woman, whoever y'all was dealing with was a cheater. A serial cheater. Um, And they were always in and out, cold and detached. But now it's like with the Six of Wands, they want to start showing up more. They want to start giving you recognition. But once again, y'all already have options. I'm letting you know right now. Y'all already have options. And y'all already start pouring more love into yourself than you do others. Spirit, so what is the final likely outcome for Geminis? Final, final likely outcome. Uh, uh, shit. Final likely outcome for Geminis. Two of Pentacles and two of Wands. There's some sort of choice, decision, and something y'all got to make. Y'all going to have two people to choose from. I'm telling you right now. Some of y'all may be ready to travel as well. Some of y'all may be thinking about moving to a different state or country or something. I don't know. Different city. Tell me about the two of pentacles and the two of wands. Three of swords. Why is the three of swords here, spirit? God damn it. Hold on, y'all. Why is the three of swords here? Nine of swords. It's like y'all in y'all head. Like, somebody really broke y'all heart. But in this person also, it's like they know they fucked up and they like they feel it. Like they like, yo, I really fucked up. Like, I don't even know if she gonna let me make this right or he's gonna let me make this right. Something about the nine of swords. Five of ones reverse, but they don't wanna argue with you, but you don't wanna argue even now. I said that at the beginning of the reading. They hate being in conflict with you. Tell me about the five of ones in reverse. Four of ones in reverse. Yeah, this represents a breakup. Somebody could be moving as well. Give me one final message for Gemini's. Seven of Wands. Some of y'all can have this person black, or if not, when they come back, you gotta stand your ground with them. Some of the Seven of Wands. Three of Cups. They wanna reunite with you. They miss you. They miss your friendship. Some of y'all may be starting hanging out with your friends more. You may run into them while you're out with your friends. Same about the Three of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Ace of Swords in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're not talking to this person. This is another energy. Y'all got quite a few energies in here. I don't know. This could be the same person in body and all of these energies, but y'all not speaking to this person right now, but they want to reunite with you. Let's just see who this King of Pentacles is. Tell me who this King of Pentacles is, Spirit. Somebody you broke up with. Some of the higher in reverse. They could have ghosted you or you could have just decided to walk away from them. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Yeah, y'all not talking to this person. They keep tabs on you. And they don't, they lack accountability for the shit they did. But they know that they treated you bad. For a source, y'all are trying to heal from this King of Pentacles. They could be somebody in the streets. They could have financial problems. Um, I don't know. Y'all have a lot of different energies. So, I guess y'all just got to decide who y'all going to be with. Um, but that's what I have for you, Gemini. All right, I'm getting sleepy, y'all. I'm really getting sleepy. decks don't go on for leave right girl i'm sleepy but i'm gonna make it work let me get some Florida water all 
I needed to smell that so I could wake up. <laughs> Thank you, Elba, for buying a bag. I really appreciate you. What messages do you have for Libras? What do Libras need to know? Oh, God. My neck and back hurt. <laughs> Give me three more cards. What messages do you have for Libras? What do they need to know? Two more cards. What messages do you have for Libras? One more card. may have been traveling a lot lately um some of y'all need to get some rest like you need some fucking rest but not only do you need rest well you need rest because i feel like you got a lot of changes about to fuck why did i show that card oh i forgot youtube be tripping um some of y'all got a lot of big changes that's about to happen in your life and i feel like they're positive changes some of y'all could be ready to move um to like a different state country i don't know some of y'all could be ready to enter into a long distance relationship. But for the most part with this four of swords, like I was saying, you need some rest. But some of y'all, it's something that you're healing from. Some of y'all could just be healing from surgery. Some of y'all have been thinking about getting surgery. Um, some of y'all are thinking about getting your breasts done. I don't know. Ten of Wands in reverse. It's either somebody... I feel like some of y'all is somebody that you don't want to let go of or they don't want to let go of you or it could be both, both ways. Six of Swords, I do kind of feel like somebody is ready to come towards you. Um, now, for others of you, you may just decide to just move on from someone altogether. Let's clarify and see what's going on. So there's another world card. Why is the world card here? I said that yesterday and looking at booby doctors. Okay. Empress. I feel like some of y'all going to enter into a new relationship and get pregnant. Some of y'all going to get a job that requires you to travel. You're going to be very abundant. You got a lot of success about to come in, come your way. But some of y'all are whoa, or ready to start a family soon. Spirit, tell me about the four swords. What? King of Cups. There's somebody that genu genu genuinely love you, but they don't pour into you. You see how you pour that love out that cup? They don't pour into you. They don't really express their feelings to you. And I feel like you're tired of that shit. Tell me about the Ten of Wands in reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands in reverse here? Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody is coming in with a love offer. Tell me about the, but I don't like the fact it's going from the king to the knight. I feel like this person is very fickle. They may cheat a lot. They're, I don't know. Tell me about the six of swords. Four of pentacles. Yeah, there's someone that you feel like that you need to um, hold back from right now. Also, some of you need to start planning for your retirement, um, saving more money. So there's something about the empress. Why is the empress here? Ace of Wands, what I tell y'all, y'all have new love coming in. I told you that. Y'all got new love coming in. Spirit, tell me about this new lover. Eight of Swords, but why y'all in your head about it? Like, are you scared of new love? Spirit, tell me about this Ace of Wands. Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Y'all might have a lot of options coming in soon. Emperor. You got the Emperor and the Empress. This might be somebody that really wants a relationship with you, that really want to settle down with you. For some of you, this, gonna, this may be a long-distance relationship, but it's going to work out in your favor. 
So guys, oh, tell me about this emperor. Tell me about this emperor spirit. Ten of cups, yeah. This, they gonna want it all with you. They gonna wanna be a blended family. You gonna get your happily ever after, but here's the thing. You have a lot of options coming in. Tell me about the king of cups. Why is the king? Queen of cups. All right, look. You got the emperor and empress, the king of cups and the queen of cups. Your person is on its way to you. You are really going to experience that happily ever after. I can't make this shit up. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Seven of Cups. Look, you're going to be confused. You have a lot of options coming in. You're going to be so confused and you're not going to know who to choose. You're going to start to feel overwhelmed. <clears throat> Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Will of Fortune in Reverse. Why is the Will of Fortune in Reverse here? Clarify the Will of Fortune in Reverse. Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's like something in love didn't go your way or something in your career didn't go your way. But it's telling you whatever it, it was that didn't go your way, do not give up on it. You're resilient. Um, You're going to figure some shit out. Just get back to the drawing board. And if it's love, that's definitely what you're going to got to worry about because you're about to have options. So what is the final likely outcome for Libras? Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment. Having options, like I said. Success, happiness. A boost in your confidence. But it's telling you to listen to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Continue to listen to your intuition. Tell me about the nine of cups. You got people catering to you as well. King of Wands, another energy here. Who is this King of Wands spirit? Who is this King of Wands? Seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody that may want to reveal something to you. Somebody that doesn't want to lie, doesn't want to be sneaky and deceptive. Tell me about the Seven of Swords in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody that wants to invest in you. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Knight of Swords. Somebody that gets whatever they want. Don't take no for an answer. But this is also telling you, you also got to get even more serious about your ambitions. Give me one final message for Libras. Bitch, you got the Nine of Pentacles. You're about to be very successful, very abundant. Somebody sees you as marriage material. Somebody sees you as the perfect type for them. Y'all are about to get a lot of recognition. You hear me? Some of y'all are meant to be like in a spotlight as well or like in a beauty industry. Your money is about to do good. Y'all are amazing. This is, this is one of the best readings we had all night. And normally y'all readings have been bullshit lately, so... I love this reading for y'all. So yeah, Libra, this is what I have for y'all. Y'all have amazing things coming in. All right, Aquarius, it's your turn. I'm hearing a Cardi B song. Fuck me on that money. Yeah, y'all already have money, money. <laughs> I love that for y'all. Okay. Oh my God, it hurt. I need a massage so bad. Last but not least, Aquarius. What the fuck is it? I know I just seen it. What the fuck is it? Thank you, Miss Jamaica. All right. Spirit, so what messages do you have for Aquarius? What do Aquarius need to know? What messages do you have for Aquarius? 
Give me three more cards with messages. Two more cards with messages. One more card with messages to you. somebody in your energy that you might got some fake friends around you that is like an enemy in disguise um you could be going through a situation where you feel like somebody lied to you about something or withheld something from you ace of ones means you have to love coming in if you want it but i feel like y'all don't trust your judgment when it comes to love some of you feel like um, you have bad luck when it comes to love and relationships. The letter T could be significant. The letter R could be significant. Then you have the seven of cups. Um, y'all gonna have options. But for, like I said, for some reason, it's either one or two things. You want one specific person or you just not ready to really be out here dating because you went through... Something with somebody that you felt like was a fucking liar. Um, so we are talking about the Seven of Swords. Nine of Cups. But you're going to have some sort of wish fulfillment, I'm telling you. You've already experienced a lot of happiness, joy, abundance. So we are talking about the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Clarify the Ace. Sun in Reverse. Yeah, I feel like y'all not ready for new love right now. It's like you're sad. You're depressed about something. And Braylon, and when we did cancers, I was like, y'all need to tag Braylon. Or I think I said, y'all didn't tag Braylon. I said something about you, girl. Down fool with you for real. Spirit, tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Fool card. You're getting the new beginning in love. Like, don't give up on it. I understand that breakups can be hard. Heartbreaks can be really hard. But you're going to get through it. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah, you're afraid that you're going to keep making the same mistake over and over again when it comes to love. Um, but with the world card, it's like, stop stressing it. You have amazing things about to come your way. You have some huge changes that's about to come your way. Some of y'all are ready to travel. Some of y'all might get in a long distance relationship. Some of y'all may enter into a new relationship because God is trying to send you a new relationship. Tell me about this nine of cups. Why is the nine of cups here? Strength in reverse. You just lacking confidence right now. It's telling you to boost your confidence up. Remember who you are, but you're lacking confidence. Tell me about the strength in reverse. Five of cups. Like I said, y'all are sad. Y'all are depressed. You're mourning the loss of a connection or divorce. Or some of y'all could be mourning the loss of a loved one. Tell me about the sudden reverse. Death in reverse. Somebody's going to end up trying to come back to you as well. Tell me about this death in reverse. Who is this death in reverse? Five of Pentacles. This is somebody that abandoned you, ghosted you, whatever you want to call it. Tell me about the Fool card. High Priestess. Before you give this person a, another chance, it's telling you to use your intuition. Tell me about the World card. Why is the World card here? Devil. What? Who is this devil? Tell me about this devil energy. Tell me about this devil energy, spirit. Clarify the devil. Five of wands in reverse. Tell me about the five of wands in reverse. Whoever this devil is, is somebody that could have been dating other people. Somebody that you always started to, y'all was arguing a lot. This could have been somebody that was holding back from you, but they don't want to hold back anymore. Hmm. Tell me about this Five of Cups. What? Ace of Swords. Yeah, this person want to talk to you. You're going to talk to them within the next week or two. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. You're welcome. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, they want you to remember who the fuck you are. You're going to be really abundant as well. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Magician and the Knight of Wands, they're coming back. And they may try to change because the Knight of Wands is coming in reverse. I don't know. Tell me about this Knight of Wands in reverse. 
But I don't know because they came along with the magician. The magician can be very manipulative. Tell about the Knight of Wands in reverse. Clarify the Knight of Wands in reverse. That's too many cards. Hold up. Tell me about the Knight of Wands in reverse, spirit. Four swords. But they said they've been healing. They said they went to talk to the lady. Tell me about the magician. Oh, shit. Spirit, clarify the magician. Page of Cups. Mm. Somebody gonna message you, but pages ain't really offering shit. Tell me about the page of cups. Page of pentacles. They really want to talk to you. They feel like they owe you an apology. They may even give you a gift. Tell me about this ace of swords. Why is this reading so long? Queen of cups. Yeah, it's time for you to really focus on self-love. You have got to start pouring more, more love into yourself. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Aquarius? Queen of Swords and a Nine of Wands. Setting boundaries, standing on business, not taking no bullshit, not giving up on love because you can have new love coming in. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and a Nine of Wands. Some of y'all, this person could live at a distance from you. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and a Nine of Wands. Somebody could drive a Jeep. Um, Taurus, Swords and a Lover's Heart. Yeah, this person has somebody else and they know that they need to make a decision between you and this person. This third party. Tell me about the two of pentacles and the lovers card. Chariot in reverse. Why is the chariot in reverse here? Yeah, it's like, okay, if you're not going to make a decision, I'm not going to keep being in no third party situation. So either leave me the fuck alone or come back right. So give me one final message for Aquarius. Ten of ones and the three of cups is like, okay, I'm going to release the baggage because I miss you. I want to reunite, but I don't know if they're really going to release it because sometimes three of cups could be third party energy. Talking about the ten of ones and the three of cups. Three of swords in reverse. They want to unbreak your heart. Some of y'all may run into this person while you're out. Talking about the three of swords in reverse. Judgment. They're definitely coming back and you're going to have to make a decision if you're going to take them back. Um, but that's what I have for you, Aquarius. So enjoy your nights. Talk to y'all later.